it's pretending to be a thing and going on an adventure. D&D yeah. is basically That's playing awesome. make-believe. It's ma playing make-believe with but dice. But it's in structure. So somebody creates a world, like say, like if we ever played like a D&D D version of like a Potter world. And so like, I, I don't, I mean like, like somebody would come up with an adventure and be like, okay, you guys are wizards at Hogwarts now. And when like, you go on an oh, tell me, great tell me who your characters are, blah blah blah, like all that. And then somebody would be like, okay, like you guys, you're now in the Great Hall. And Hello, I'm Timmy, and I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh my God, I'm a Hufflepuff. Hello, would you like to be friends? <laughs> <laughs> and and it would Thank be you. like some, and it'd be like one you're of the really teachers good. comes in. One of the Hello, my name's Timmy. Hello, my name is Timothy. I'm Timothy. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm also Timothy. We got two Timothys. <laughs> I'm dying. That would be the worst. Great. You're a Timothy. I'm Timothy. I'm, I'm not. So now that we're doing accents, uh, I, are, are we rolling? Oh, yeah. Okay, now that we're doing accents, mm -hmm. I can finally give you my Australian accent. Oh, God. It's the only one word I can say. <clears throat> Neva. <laughs> <laughs> Neva, Neva, Neva. <laughs> what about, like, oh Bobby? Oh, that's hard. Bobby? Bobby. Uh -huh. Bobby? I used, you know that, that sir, a phone service, Singular? Sing yes. Yes. It was AT&T like and then wise. Singular and then it became AT&T again? Yep. Yeah. That was also a fun one to say. Singular. <laughs> Neva, Neva. That's a good, Neva. Neva. But also, you know, like, there is, sorry, I'm multitasking again. I don't know if you guys remember that last time. Hi, um, welcome to hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We're here, and we have a little special guest with us today. Me! Lauren. <laughs> She's waiting for those who are listening. Oh, yeah. It'd be great just to have clappers next to you. Yeah, for everything, yeah. For everything you do. That would be, be great. so fun. Yeah. So, so speaking of um, of Clapping. accents, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just roar it right back into the accents. Yeah. Um, so I just saw that uh, I had something uh, ship out. Yes. Today. Oh yes. Yes. So I ordered the Scottish oh. translation of Harry Potter. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That, I'm so sorry. So, that is fantastic. So, have you seen it at all? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna have you read. I'm so excited. Okay. The first like page. Okay. Of of the Scottish you translation to, of. You need to read it. Just right into book the book. One chapter like, just, one. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pull it up. I've read that book. Okay, it is called Chapter Ain, the the laddie wha lived. Okay. Can you see it? Spencer no, is sliding the blind. laptop. Okay. To Lauren. Oh. Lauren is adjusting the table. Because I cannot see anything. Lauren is grabbing the laptop. Have you always had a... That's a brand new laptop. <gasps> well, it's not it. brand new, but yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's it, was, it was used from Kim. That's true. Wait, do I have to... Just, yeah, you have to, you have to read, just read it. Just read it. Just try to read it. I'm going to read it as you We already it. tried okay. to read it well, as... I'm, what I mean is like I don't need to use a Scottish accent. You, don't, you can no, use no, it if you'd like to, but... Just attempt to read it straight through. And a lot of you will leave. Okay. Mr. I'm doing it in an American accent. <laughs> yes. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, oh, number four, <laughs> Privet Lowen, were, <laughs> were rude to, to, say, to say that they were gay normal. Thank you. It's so much easier. Than it <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's starting to come much. out. They were the least folk yeah, we jealous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so this is really hard. <laughs> so you just kind of get a sense. But there's, there's, yeah, there's sentences like, uh, like you want to read this one? Which one? This, this top one right here. He was a mokul, beefy bucket man with the stuff of wee creek, although he did add a gray muggle. New. <laughs> so there's a, there's a sentence that goes, um, uh, Mrs. Dursley, Mrs. Skinny Malinky, so I assume that means she's skinny. She's uh -huh. Blonde heated, which is blonde headed. Uh huh. Woman. Is a woman. W u m m i n woman. Huey who Craigie. 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 With just a boot 
twice as long as other folks. Long, probably. Whose neck was just about twice as long as other folks. Yeah. Wow. So you can like read it. It just takes a lot of brain energy. Yeah, <laughs> and you have to just remember the original story to be like, yeah. okay, what are you referencing? And right then, now? and then there's this. But my favorite sentence is, um, uh, uh, the Dursleys had often they wanted, but as wheel as hen often they had a secret. And their worst fear, worst, their worst, 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 worst fear, fear was that someone would never do it. Never do it. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I, I lived in Scotland. Okay. I lived in Edinburgh. Why? Well, so you should be so good at this? Yeah, but not really, <laughs> because that's not really how people sound. Really? I mean, like, they can read. They could read this though. Right. So if you're like, say, for example, once upon a time, I went to IKEA my first week okay. with my best friend. My best friend. The reason I lived in Scotland is because my best friend um, was going to school there. And one day I was in New York. I was living in New York at the time. And one day she says, "Oh, I'm moving to Scotland to go to school." And I was like, "Oh my God, I'm just so jealous. I wish I could live in Scotland." And she said, "Come on, live with me." And I said, "Okay, sure. That's awesome." Wow. Yeah. So like a month later, I hopped on a plane and moved to Scotland. But our first, my first week, she had been there for a month. But my first week, we went to um, IKEA. It was the only time I could not understand someone there, and it was this gentleman, in fr very old gentleman, in front of us, and he spoke in a different language. Like it, it's. I could not yeah. understand a word he said, except the last sentence. I can't remember what it was, but that's how we knew he was speaking, like, English, like, actually, you know, <laughs> with an accent, obviously. Is my mic off? Oh, my mic's like, off. Is it? Yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. I want to hear. I was like, oh, I can't hear. There we go. Oh, there is that better? Okay. Yeah, okay. I was like, what? I was like, maybe with We got a cold mic. Ooh, we got a little. Just, it wasn't that cold. It was just cool. It was just a little cool. Oh, so that's so cool that that's you got so Well, it's the opposite of a hot mic, you know? Oh, like a hot mic means it's on. A cool mic means it's and real so hot. Guys, I feel like I'm learning so much. Wait, so <laughs> <laughs> wait, so 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 they don't. I so uh, the, what's interesting to me about this is that like they did a translation, but it it's still sort of English. Right. Yeah. Is it like the difference between? Here's my question: Is it like the difference between Spanish and Portuguese? No, no. It, it, what about it's like the difference between British and it, like British English and art? Like those words all like it's saying lift instead of elevator. What? But like oh, yeah. garden fences. Garden. Over the garden fences. Garden. I know, but it's like yeah. garden garden. garden phonetically. Yeah, because that's how they understand. That's how they speak. Yeah. What about so also crazy. Gaelic? That's exactly what different. I was about, yeah. yeah. So it's different. Gaelic like, is different than just Irish. Yeah, Gaelic is ancient. That's. Scottish, isn't it? Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. So, Oops. In, <laughs> which is where Harry Potter. But anyway, okay. So Wait. Gaelic and mm, Sc mm, the Ele Harry Potter was written in, in Scotland. Scotland in Edinburgh. So it's coming home at this place called the Elephant Cat. But he's not Scottish. He's not Scottish, Correct. but, but Although JK was in Scotland. But there it. are Scottish characters. Like, who's Scottish? Uh, not Dean Hunt. Seamus. 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 No, he's Irish. That's Irish. Wait. That's an Irish name. Scot Someone's so Scottish. I can't remember who. I'll look who. it up. His, uh, but so Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do to get in my Scottish. <laughs> of all the words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't. But here's. Oh, I'm um, Hagrid. Oh, he is. Scottish, is Hagrid Scottish? I would assume so. That's funny because or is you're a wizard. <laughs> like he's very. But he doesn't say you're a wizard. He has a very hard. distinct accent compared to everybody else. I actually, he might be Scottish. He's I a think Scottish actor. Art. Isn't yeah. that where the giants are? I'm literally just saying that over and over. I should not be saying stuff like this. I'm sorry. Oh. I think you. Oh god, I don't know. It's not really plot. It's okay. Related. That's fine. It's just I can take a that. location of where monsters are. <laughs> oh. I guess where we know we know now we know where the fantastic this beast is. And I could be and like I said, I could be wrong. I asked the question, is that where they are? I don't actually know. <laughs> so this person's okay. saying that it's Bristolian. Bristolian. From Bristol, really? Yeah, that's what they're saying is his accent, but it's just a random person on the internet, so it could they could very well be. I hey, mean it kind of makes sense. Anybody who's in Europe Does anyone let us know. Let us know when you listen to that accent who what because we are really bad at differentiating the the chain, at I'm least I am. I'm it. horrible at it. I always, I don't know what the difference between the accents, like Irish and Scottish and. What? You can tell a little bit. A little so bit. Different. But like, 
Yeah, I mean, okay, I do agree that Irish and Scottish are actually yeah, kind of hard. Yeah, those to two. But like, if somebody was like Russian or Estonian or like oh, that's tough. Czechoslovakian or like Ukrainian, I don't know the difference between. I those. can't like I'm well, from the Caribbean, and the, uh, the most I can do is I can tell if you're not Jamaican. Yeah, when <laughs> I went to Jamaica, it. that was. I want the Jamaican translation of. Oh. I got so excited, I knocked oh. my microphone <laughs> off the table. I want the Jamaican translation. I, I would of love Harry it. Potter. Give me the island version of Harry Potter, I would be in fucking Holy heaven. Shit. It would be great. Mm. Somebody's this gotta is, do this that. This is the greatest thing that I've ever heard someone purchase related to Harry Potter, I'm not gonna lie. The Scottish yeah. translation? Oh, I'm so excited. That's wonderful, right? I know. Oh, I'll get it's it. coming, so I couldn't get it in the States. I had, sorry, I'm putting my microphone back. I couldn't get it in the States. I had to order it from, the, uh, from Amazon in the UK, UK and have it shipped here. That's expensive. And surprisingly, right. the shipping was like the normal price of shipping because normally shipping is free on Amazon when you have Prime. Uh, and so, so the Prime shipping mm, yeah. was like five bucks or something ridiculous. Oh, that's nice. If yeah. someone read this, I, I think I would sleep uh, to this pod, to this audiobook. Yeah. I know, like, they don't have an audio. I wanted an audiobook yeah, version, but they didn't have it. But yeah, that'd someone be Someone wants so to good. do it, I'll, I'll sleep to your voice. <laughs> <laughs> you want me sleeping to your Why voice? Why do they have like a squeaky voice? I can take that into premiere, Steve, bring that pitch right down. Yeah. You should be the one to do it because you have the kind of voice. But that I can't speak this. I'd be offending the Scots. You would. <laughs> I'd you be would. straight up to be like, this is. We're fighting. Very offensive. <laughs> oh my god. But so I, anyway, when I when I found out that that existed, I immediately ordered it because uh, it is amazing. And and I've already peeked and looked at some of the other quotes. Uh -huh. From the book. I'm just uh -huh. excited to read bits and pieces of it on the podcast. And we're going to bring it in and read bits and yeah, pieces. Yeah, every you, podcast. You to, well, just I little bits and pieces. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be here, guys. So I, know. I need to hear do you want Do you want to tell them why you're not going to be here? <laughs> oh, wait. Can I stop paying for a U Haul hitch, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. You can well, do that's actually you part of the reason why. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hint, hint. A little foreshadowing. Uh, okay. But yeah, we'll read a little bit on the on the podcast uh, when we feel like it because it's there are some amazing yeah amazing moments. Pop um, in, have even a just I really I genuinely really wish they would have kept Hagrid like the same. the same the same I know and do not they, do they not they no, change they it they like him. they like I mean like they change everything they change like what he says what, and yeah. how he pronounces things oh, be, oh because it's like it's like that the whole book is what you read yeah but like you still that's what he was you still in saying. our in our version of English you still say things the way well, he, just, actually he just says, says it like. in in Scottish everybody yeah, yeah, everybody it speaks because yeah we do. Scottish in a Scottish accent you're right which is they call what, what did they call Dumbledore oh. Dumbledikes <laughs> something like no that? it was Dumby Dykes. Dumby Dykes. Dumby Dykes. Dumby Dykes. Dumby Dykes. Oh, look at the Dumby Dykes. Oh, look at the Dumby Dykes. See, like, imagine it in German or something. Would they actually call him something else, or would they still call him? I think they do change some of the characters' names based on on if their names sound like a curse word or not. Oh. Daxun Dumbledore. That's the only German word I know, so I had to say. I know Draco has different names in different languages because of... Because they wanted to keep the meaning of his name. Oh, what is it? <gasps> that makes sense. No, I mean like it's not. What well, Draco is Draco. Draco, dragon. Draco's dragon, dragon. and Malfoy oh. is like bad. Maleficent. So it's like bad dragon. I just learned something. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What is this? Oh, what is it? For the listeners at home, Spencer just jumped us. into this. Well, okay. So uh, let me admit, I was looking at, I was looking at uh, some of the quotes because there's one thing that I wanted to find as a little, as a little. And then a video started playing on the, an ad on the site. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that will that translate to no. The right, you might be able to hear it in the headphones, like through the headphones into the microphone. Right. Oh, okay. But they shouldn't be able to hear. It. But uh, there's a, they they call the houses something different. Oh, that's right. <gasps> and poof and poof. <laughs> that's that's sweet. So it's no. So Gryffindor is the same. Okay. The the Fowler houses are called Gryffindor. The Fowler. The far, the far house, the far houses, a car, a car, a car, 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 Gryffindor, Hecklepeck, 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 Corby Kluk. What the fuck is that? A Corby Kluk? Corby Kluk. I better not be no goddamn Corby Kluk. No, we're definitely Heckleplex. Heckleplex. You guys are Heckleplex or Hufflepuffs? Yes. Yeah. Are you Ravenclaw? No, I'm Ravenclaw. Um, yeah. Corby, you Corby Kluk. I'm a Corby Kluk. You're a Corby Kluk. Oh man. And then the last one is Slytherin. Slytherin. Sounds like Slytherin. Slytherin. You talk about your slip your throat. S L Y D D E R I N. Slytherin. 
the way they sound, that sounds like Caribbean. Slytherin. Slytherin. Yeah, because so it's just like... Yeah. So the craziest one is Ravenclaw. Yeah. Corby did. Corby click. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to say that. <laughs> so sorry. Corby what? Corby cluck. Okay. Corby cluck. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, it <Corby> was close. <laughs> There was uh, dicatives, yes. you know what I mean? Like, they're strong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, moving on to the next topic. I just learned that Diagon Alley means diagonally. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I can't judge he's you just, too hard. He's but still like, starting. He's about to start book three. That's true. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Guys, okay. This has just been the Potter podcast so far. Oh, I that was going to happen. I know. Okay, but I do want to point out that my two favorite books are three and five. Oh, boy. So I am like very thrilled to hear about the reception. Of after the after the book is done, I'll give like a little, you know, yeah, the little, review, the okay. review, okay. a little bit of insight. It's also the best movie of the series, the third. Yeah, because uh, yeah. it was directed by Alphonse, and he was just like, "I'm making a movie, not trying to read make a book. I'm yeah. making a movie." So he like, he took out, mind you, he did take out a chunk that's like, oh man, but. He made a movie and it was entertaining, and he got rid yeah. of a lot of the stuff that's like this isn't. Yeah, he got a lot of flack for that, but it. But he. I loved it, it though. Was well, it was I the agree. best one. Like it actually, like it flowed Probably. really well, and yeah. Wait. Okay. So Once. you have to tell us. You should see the movie after uh, you read the third book. I'm yeah. gonna wait uh, to read the whole series. Yes. Uh, good. That's, good. Oh, that's a better idea. <laughs> oh, so you haven't seen the movies either? I, no, I he's have. a fresh baby. No, I, I've seen some of the movies. Really? But probably when you, but when you were young. Oh, that doesn't count. That doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay, you have to tell us yeah. why, you're, why you're leaving forever, why you're leaving us forever, why you're not ever going to be here. Hi, again. guys. Am I supposed to, like, you're hey, yeah, you so you want, since they already know, I'm going to talk to you. Uh -huh. So everyone should go on the YouTube channel so yeah, you can see please. that subscribe I'm Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. See, guys, I'm so good at that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm moving back to New York. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know it's yeah. kind of like sad, but like I'm really, really excited. And You're you excited. Look, some of you excited. guys live in New York. That's true. Buff the whole. We got a whole New York squad over there. Yeah, you had a meetup, right? Did you? Yeah. I, I'm saying that as if they can answer me right now. Oh, they'll be like answer yes. me on the Slack, which you should also subscribe. <laughs> I, I just expect Slack. at this point, like you see in podcast commentary, like the section just people going yes. And yes. no context, not answering <laughs> yeah. anything, just answering yes. This is the part when people start skipping forward because they're like, this is the part where they're plugging the Slack and plugging the YouTube. People don't, don't you dare skip forward. What are don't you doing? You yeah. Forward. We don't I, plug that I, hard, do we? If you're not. listening to this now and you skip forward, you better skip back right now because we said some important shit. You missed it. That you missed. And you're dun, gonna... Dun, dun. <laughs> like, what That's the a puzzle for you. <laughs> yeah. There are hints. Uh, so you're moving back to New York. Yes, I am. So when you move? Um, so I leave on Thursday. So the day that this will, being yeah. will drop, you'll be in the airport. You'll be. No, I'm driving. driving. Oh, you're driving. That's why no she's getting you. So I just oh. purchased a hitch because I forgot to. So yeah, I did, did that. that. <laughs> and they're going to install it tomorrow morning with my little cargo thing on the back of my car. And I'm terrified to drive this across country because you can't back up. I mean, you can, but I'm it's not really about hard. to back yeah. up. You it's like life. Once you make the step forward, fine. you can't go back. You can't go back. You know? You're going to be fine. We'll figure it out. You'll yep. be all good. I know. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm well versed in uh, driving in crazy road trips. So How yeah, long is the drive? Well, technically, it's only 41 hours, but I'm... Oh, only 41 hours, guys. Yeah, but you're like probably taking, like, three I can do that a day. Yeah, I, so... <laughs> I just... So dumb. That's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> my dad and I, though, I did it, it in 39, my second time across the country. Jesus. We just slept in the car. So yeah. it's like we would... You just rotate. Switch out, yeah. You have a little, just a little bottle? You just go to the bathroom? Uh, no, stop. we stopped for oh, gas okay, and good. peeing. The, those two things... Put the like, gas like, in! I'm going to pee... <laughs> <laughs> out, the out the window. window? It's like an Air Force One <laughs> moving. You gotta put the gas in it while you're moving. See, I can't wait till cars run on, run on, uh, run on, like, um... Pee? Yeah, urine. So you can just pee <laughs> and then hang out the window and pour it into the gas no. tank. No, at that point, you're going... Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna continue that thought. <laughs> um, wait, so how many days? 41 hours. Was that, like, a yeah. four-day trip? No, 40... Uh, what I'm like, doing it in? Right. So what I'm doing is I'm going first to Utah... <clears throat> And then stopping at some point whenever I feel like stopping. And then from Utah to Colorado, where one of my best friends lives. She lives in Denver. So that's going to be exciting. Denver's cool. pretty. I love Denver. It's very beautiful. Um, 
And then from Denver, I'm going to probably somewhere in Missouri. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I'm going to Tennessee, where another one of my best friends lives. That's cool. And then I'm going to eat some barbecue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's nice. You're gonna be like hitting a lot of friends yeah. and kind of making yeah, like then, your rounds. Mm -hmm. And then nice. I'm going to my cousins and then home. Oh, wow. So I this think why you should like document your trip. Yeah, you should document. Sure. But I documented the first one, which was two weeks. My dad and I stopped. But that's you and your dad. This is you on your own on the road. Yeah. I'm not documenting. Also, like, talk about how you feel per state and like. What experiences you have and where you and where Every you are. Every state, I'm gonna be like, I'm in Utah. I'm really pumped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Colorado. Yeah. I'm really pumped. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a <laughs> minute of I'm in Utah. I'm in Utah. No, 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 that's that's fine. Do that. Also, for okay, safety reasons, do that. Yeah. I'm like document. Actually, trip. that's a great point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, for safety reasons, don't film while you're driving. Wait until you stop. Good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Or don't, don't, or don't. Whatever you want to do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you. Be by yourself. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. No, driving and using your phone is bad. You've heard it here first. First. Except when you're sitting in traffic for uh, true. three hours trying to get to work and you okay. haven't moved. So, in but in that case, guys, <laughs> don't do it while you're moving. 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 <laughs> while you're moving. Because Louise and I have discovered. You can watch TV. Yeah. So, uh, update. <laughs> update on what I've been watching in traffic. Yeah, let's hear it. So, uh, we just started uh, a D&D &D group, and I've never played. Oh, so you're new like I would be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Spencer, right? You've never yeah, played. Yeah, I've never played. What? So, um, I, I, you have, right? I have played. Okay. Okay. And so there's this program. We've watched people play it, but uh, I've never, yeah. There's a program called Harmon Quest. Yeah, I introduced it to Harmon Quest. And again. so <laughs> this morning, I burned through like three episodes are they like 10 minute like they're like 30 minute 24 minute episodes and they're uh -huh. animations and so you get to like they get to act it out and then they it's animate more of the, the improv stuff you don't see more of the numbers right but it's like i introduce it to them so that they have an idea of how like the gameplay runs because every decision not every decision but like every like big action you take particularly in battles yeah. right so like well, you're, some fighting, you're fighting some monster and you're like, well, I want to jump on the wall and then go above him and then, like, stab him in the neck, you know, because like, it's a big old orc monster or something. So your DM, the person running the game, will go, like, okay, roll this dice to see if you do it. And they'll roll for the monster to essentially, like, figure okay. out. And so if you roll high and you have, like, whatever your character ability to be able to do that, like, then you'll be able to do it. And you stab the monster and you'll get a bunch of hit points. But if you roll, like, a two or a one... Uh, like, You'll fail miserably. Well, if you roll a one, it hurts like, you. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> if you roll a two, it just won't work. So you're on adventure, and you can uh, make actions through just rolling dice. Okay. High number is good. Low number is bad. Okay. You know, and Unless then you the can, DM has different okay. rules, because right. sometimes they'll do rules where it's like, okay, numbers one through five, uh, um, so, something bad will happen. Numbers five through ten. Uh, something it won't work, but something but good something will, happen. will happen. Yeah. And then numbers like you 10 know, ten through twenty will be something. Something good will happen, but it won't work the way you want it. And then the higher numbers are going to get what you want. Like you could change whatever you want the numbers to do. Right. Yeah. So I'm starting off like I'm easing into it with Harmony Quest because they don't deal with the numbers. They just kind of it's like the whole like it's just all the improv. Part. It's the improv. It's the environment. It's the whole like. Just you know, just living, living in the living in the world. Yeah, living in the world. And, and it's then, animated, so it's like, oh, so we're playing these characters, so you're watching, and they animate the action, so it's just fun to watch. It's fun, and so then after that, I'm gonna go and try critical role. Critical role. Yep. Yeah. And then that's, I think, a little more more intense. So, oh. but those are like They're hours. Just the dice roll. Yeah, those are hours long. That's okay, the hard part about getting into that. that. <laughs> because why you'll get so oh, invested right. that you won't be able to stop it that's when you start problem. moving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I might. Well, you could just listen because the critical yeah, role ones is not visual. Like, because yeah. they're sitting at they're a sitting table, table. role-playing, so you don't have to see, they're just talking. Oh, like, us. like us. I mean, like, yeah, the people don't, who don't like watching to. us on YouTube, that you should subscribe. You should watch us on YouTube. But there's and people if you're who in like LA, listening. you can watch while you're stopped in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, but yeah, you know, like, we were saying, like, you know, like, stuff like this, you don't have to watch every frame. Right. Like, you just keep it in the background while you're doing something else. Right. You know, like if I'm color grading, or if you're yeah, yeah. I really thought you were gonna say coloring, and I've been on this really big color 
coloring book kick. Really? Oh man, I gotta finish my coloring book. Was it ever I, since we started coloring here? No, but I have a Harry Potter. I'm. I. It's. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, a long time hobby because uh -huh. I actually do draw, not as well as. Star. Oh, it's the same. Look, you draw. I haven't seen your drawings. No, it's like architecture. That's I draw even like better. Buildings. I can't draw buildings. <gasps> Collaboration. You could just become one person. And yeah, but like my stuff wouldn't match your stuff because yours is like so funky and cool, and mine's just like lines. I still like. I can't. I like. I love watching people draw straight lines. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it, and I know that there's, and especially if there's math involved, and they're like, no, like this has to be at this angle. My best friend Kelly yeah. in Miami. Hi, shout out to Kelly. Hi, Hi Kelly. Kelly. Shout out to Kelly. Kelly. Friend of the podcast. Um, she, I mean, she's also she's an architect, so like she'll she used to like bring out like her like drawings that she'd do in college and stuff, and I just be like, look at those pretty fucking buildings. It's yeah. so good. It's so, so that's cool. what I do. I that's still do awesome. the same kind of drawing that I did. Oh, uh, that's the best. It's fun. But anyway, so point being is that I really like my favorite medium is colored pencils. Mm -hmm. So I've been really into my coloring books recently, my adult coloring books, and they're all things like this is how you become a happy person. Which right. sounds really morbid, but it's just very fun no, and it's entertaining. Just like, nice, like little self-reflection, self like right. Are they like they're mandalas? Lovely. They're what? Like mandalas? No, like they, it actually has like like the phrasing on it. It's yeah. like it's like a uh, motivational Got it. Okay. quotes and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. in it's coloring okay. form. I still want to make a Ruby Whipple coloring book. That yeah. Was, that was what I was planning on doing before hey, Spencer you, decided to like actually to make sure that yeah. I could actually make a comic. Yeah. Because I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, but you have all the line it. art. I do have two. I have two pages of the coloring book. And even then, yeah. one of those pages I have to edit. But I'm saying you have the line art from the comics. So you can even use. It's not the same. I know. You have to do like actual like, like illustrations legit, yeah. for it. Design because for scenes it. from the comic, I don't, I, the way I draw those, it's. I don't draw in all the details because I know how I'm going to color it. Oh, so it's okay. bigger blocks of color. When you're making a coloring book page, particularly adult coloring books, you have to put in all the detail all in the line, line work. Right. All the line no work. shading. Yep. yep, yep, yep. It has nope, to be you're right. clean art. And I love that because that's super fun to draw. Do it's it. Just, I will buy that. It just <laughs> takes time to do, and it's on my list, and I have a list of pages that I'm like, I'm going to eventually get to this. Yeah. I really I love coloring books. They're very... I don't know why we started talking about these, but because it's soothing, mm, very it's, soothing. It's it all helps with the concept of flow. You know the concept. Of flow. I yeah. love the, you know concept the concept of flow. Of flow. Wait, what, uh, help. You should explain. Okay, <laughs> so the concept of they might not know. The I'm concept of as flow. The camera. Every it's when you are so focused on a task that you are able to like it's essentially a form of meditation. Your mm. mind doesn't really think about anything else except the task at hand. That's video. Certain video games will help trigger the, yeah. the sense of flow. It's like when you're playing games for hours, and by the end of it, it's not like you're tired. You don't feel. You just feel like, like you just feel fine. Like it's knitting is also one of them. Like it's just a simple task that you repeat over and over and over again that gets yourself in a state of you're not really thinking about anything else but the task at hand. And for people, that's really important and healthy. And we That's my favorite. And it has to be it has to be simple tasks. Simple tasks or repetitive tasks. Um, that's why, like sometimes when you're cleaning, if it's a thing where you have to really get in there and like sit and focus, like like yeah. people cleaning tile, like if you're mm -hmm. in there in the grit and you're sitting there and focus, if it takes you like about an hour to do, yeah. odds are you enter like a state of flow because that's all you're focused on. Yeah. Oh, it's see, just it's not it's just you good. Kind of get lost. Yeah, it's I, yeah. just good for your brain to be able to like sit and focus on a thing without anything else. I have something yeah. related. It is about this. So there is a book called The Rise of Superman. And it's amazing. It's about sports and flow. And it's how, like, for example, uh, some famous surfer, I don't know, he, like, surfed this big wave in Hawaii or something. I, this is horrible storytelling. But it's fine. he <laughs> surfed some big wave in Hawaii, and he there was a moment where he was going to die. Like, there is this moment in the wave that everyone prior to him had failed at, and it had killed them. Oh. And he was in that moment, and he was in a state of flow. So he, like, at that moment was like, I have to do something to survive. Oh, something, yeah. Uh oh. Can We're you see me? Yeah, it's good. It's still red. Um, uh, uh, we broke your flow. We broke was, your flow. He, he was in the flow. He was in the same flow <laughs> in the wave. He was in the wave. Yes. And so flow. he like recognized, because basically what can happen is time stops in your mind. Like your brain is able to process things at such a uh, fast speed that it's as if time is slowing, slowing down. Yeah. So he was able to, in like 
a, a split of a split of a split of a second decide that he was going to jump down in the wave so he literally like jumped his surfboard down so that he could get out of the wave which is like not a thing that you do apparently i don't know that's what the book said yeah. but point being is like he could have died but because of his flow state your brain di kind of disengages from reality and only goes into its instinct like, your body starts yeah, saying like this is what we need to do yeah. right and if, if particularly if you have anxiety or depression or something because yeah, you very it's helpful. It's very helpful because you're literally just trying to get out of your head space mm -hmm. for a bit. And like, if you do have like, I can at least for Particular myself when I'm anxiety. when I'm anxious or depressed, being able to just get out of that head space for any amount of time is so such a relief because it's something else to think yeah. about. That's not anything. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just I'm focusing on a task. Right. So exactly. like coloring. That's why they encourage coloring because it's like as a kid you end up with states of flow way more often as a yeah. child than yeah. you do as an adult Absolutely. because you're allowed to play and allowed to like, it's like when you see little kids play pretend with toys and they can do that for hours and you're like walking by and you're like, what the, what, like what's this kid playing? Like, no, you play with the one little toy. Like you're not doing for anything. Hours, yeah. hours, that's a state of flow because they're just focused on the little task at hand. And it's fun, and you and it, and it makes your brain feel good. A lot of runners, that's why they like. Yeah, they love so running much. so much. It's like I know that's that. That is are, crazy to me. When they say they just they. They like, have that runners break. high, and it feels like they're just in the zone, and like it's. That like, is so foreign to me. That's what it I, is. I it's a state of flow. Yeah. But, you but running might not be. Some level yeah. of that. Running might not be your thing. Running's not my thing. Like, but however, I've gotten in the state of flow playing sports by if I have a ball to chase, like playing mm, tennis. Yeah, I used so to get in state of flow playing tennis. I wasn't good. But I would play much because I'm just looking for the ball. I'm trying to get to the ball. And I don't realize how much I'm running because I'm looking at the ball. Right. Same thing with soccer. Like, yeah. I don't like running. Oh, why the fuck am I playing soccer? I'm playing soccer because it's just like, oh, I'm looking at a ball. Oh, I'm supposed to block this person. Like, it's for at least 45 minutes, I there's a task at hand. Yeah. And it's nice. And it's See, a, it's and a I thing. love, so I, when I'm, like, making anything, like, when I'm in that state, like, that is my, that's my happy place like that's where that's when I'm able when I'm so focused on something that I forget anything else even exists I'm just working in that thing yeah when I'm in that hyper focus which is like that flow state do you know when you like when I you're editing I yeah, love what I'm thinking yeah it's, when you're editing I love you're it like, so much yeah, yeah. And I, don't like, go, I don't get lunch yeah no. and you're like I don't want to leave right no, now because yeah. I'm feeling so good about what I'm doing right yeah. now that's the state of flow because you're like I feel really good about what I'm working on right now, and you don't want to like cool. break out of it. I like it. Flow is great. Yeah, it makes like me feel it. so good. Wait, guys, I have news. Okay. Yes, I was diagnosed with ADD. Oh. You were? Right. Yeah, which is exciting for me because I it explains so much. Like you don't realize. So ADD is actually a combination or one or the other, whatever. Everyone has different like things. Yeah. Versions. Exactly. But one of them is hyperfocus. And uh -huh. one of them is the lack of focus. Uh -huh. And you can have both. So sometimes, yes. like with design and stuff, I get into that state of hyper focus. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the time, I can't remember the words that I said half a second ago. Yeah. So that's my brain. It explains so much. It also explains so why I both. move so often. Yeah. Because, uh, like, one of the pillars of ADD is, like, uh, impulsivity. And it can either be, like, moment-to-moment -moment impulsivity. Or like, it could be, like, or it can uh, be things like choices in life. Life choices. Really ADD. Mm -hmm. Look at that face. Yeah, all that's making feel. Yep, right? It's totally true. So now I'm reading all these books about ADD, which, by the way, is really ironic because it's very difficult to get through sometimes. There's There's an ADD subreddit, and like I, I go to it sometimes. You should. Just to, it's just to look at it, helpful. but then I'm like, oh, this is long. And then I'm kind of <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, if you're writing this, why are you making it long? Like, yep. I don't yep. know. It's and then so there's funny. also those times where you're like, so invested in the topic that you're like, oh, okay, and you can spend. That like, was the an interesting thing, and was like, because you have this idea of like, oh, they're not focusing, they're just kind of like going right. from thing to thing to thing. Mm -hmm. But you do enter into this like hyper focus. Yes, which is zone. normal. Yeah. I can't remember what they keep calling it, like attention deficit disorder? No, they, <laughs> no, they But see, that they sounds they really like a bad name for it. Doesn't no, it? I know. It, like, like, you should read the history. But here's the thing. It's, it's only bad because we associate it with like attention deficit like doesn't sound like well, if, that's if why you hear the words you're like, oh, okay. Well, that's but that means like uh, there you have lot, you're incapable of having an attention. Something. But no, it on means, the flip no, no, side, it means you can focus. it means you have problems with attention. 
What's Which the word deficit? Deficit, deficit means, means, means to be mm, uh, means lack not, of, uh, right, lack, lack of. of. So but lack of attention. But like it's like lack of ability to deal with attention, not lack of being able to have attention. Because like you could. Well, they need to take that to the drawing board because that's not a good name. Well, they <laughs> have. <laughs> but they have. So they're trying to call it something else, and I can't remember what. Uh, colloquially, I should say, I can't remember what it is now because another Indeed. issue of, <laughs> yeah. like, I can't remember Never, shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they're trying to use a different word instead of deficient uh, something. It's know. clearly not sticking. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So anyway, it's very exciting and there was a point to that and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> well, that's what, what, that is the what point. Yeah, what's I that was the point? I think you were excited driving. to know that about yourself. I think it is very exciting. I mean, maybe that is why I started talking about. Hold on, I might have it in my in my bag. While she's searching, uh, we got a little sponsor. Oh, we have a sponsor. Episode. What? Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. It's Hello Fresh. Yeah. Can I say? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello to Hello Fresh. Um, HelloFresh knows that its customers are busy and loves that they wear their busyness as a badge of honor. While the holiday season can creep towards chaos, there's a festive hustle and bustle you should take time to enjoy. In that spirit, HelloFresh says, go ahead, embrace the hustle and bustle. Go ahead, good. grab it, by grab, the, it. grab him by the belly and just hug him. Hug him. Give him a nice little fresh HelloFresh Squeeze him. <laughs> They'll be there to calm the chaos in the meantime. So HelloFresh does the shopping, planning, and delivery, so all you have to do is uh, hustle, bustle, and enjoy. Includes recipe cards with six easy steps to calm the holiday chaos. Um, you get fewer trips to the grocery store and less time in the kitchen, which means more time for family and festivities. It's true. Are you guys going home for the holidays? Yes, I'm yeah. going. I'm staying here. You're staying here? Yeah. But, you're, but your mom's coming. Yes, yeah, she's coming. Oh, yeah, your mom's coming. So you are you're seeing family. Yes. But I know. I, I, it's so not, it would be so nice to not have to like go home and cook. Like, I know my family would be... Oh, like, I love going home. They've yeah, got the I fridge love going home. filled with food. <laughs> it's the best. I know, just I know. Just tell them HelloFresh. HelloFresh, Mom? Fresh. Mom, what are you doing? Get out of here. I'm going to throw away all the food. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, I Order probably Hello should Fresh. sign up for the HelloFresh. Wait, guys. I think for my mom. I know. I'm like, oh, wait. I have to feed my mom. I know. <laughs> guys, I started... Remember last time we did this? Yeah. I was like, my mom started HelloFresh. Oh, she, yeah. yeah. She sent me a free one because you can... Wait, when you get HelloFresh, you can give away free HelloFreshes if you keep buying it. Oh, shit. So she gave me a free one. <laughs> Sorry. And then, and now I'm addicted and I get it every week. Are you what? serious? Yeah. I'm well, if you want to be, if you want to be like Lauren, you can use WSL330 to, uh, to get $30 off um, your first, what is it? $30 off your first week of HelloFresh. Um, you get to choose your delivery day for when it works best for your busy schedule. You'll know these things. You can pause your account for weeks at a time when you're, yeah. out, of, when you're out of town. I did that for my travel home. There you go. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. You didn't even know this was a sponsor, <laughs> did you? No, I mean, I didn't know we were being sponsored. Okay, I'm really excited. All the ingredients come pre-measured and handy labeled meal kits is my favorite part. So you know which ingredients go with which recipe, and they're delivered right to your door in recyclable, insulated packaging. Um, yeah, my favorite part, I say this every time, my favorite part is that they just come in a little thing and yeah. it's little just miles. enough to use and you can, you know, you're not wasting stuff. Um, HelloFresh offers a wide variety of chef curated recipes that change weekly. Three plans to choose from. They have classic, veggie, and family. Um, I like the classic one because I like the yeah. <laughs> You can get the family if you want a lot of leftovers. Yeah, you can, even if you're one person. If you're one person and you're like, I don't like cooking. Yeah. Just do it the one time. Okay. Yeah, a lot of leftovers. Done. Wait, so that's the thing. That's why, I'm sorry, we... So that's why I like it because I don't eat very large meals. I eat a lot of food throughout the day, but small meals. So that's what I do. I make like I can get like three to four um, like Except meals for oh, yeah. myself out of it. So you have it forever. You get to that's eat awesome. it forever. <laughs> <laughs> so the classic right. has a variety of meat, fish, and seasonal produce. The veggie is vegetarian recipes with plant-based proteins, grains, and seasonal produce. And uh, the family one has quick and easy meals uh, with all the yum worthy flavor. Ooh, that's the only way I want it. I want it. Yum that yum worthy flavor. Um, which one do we want to do? We, we have to do one more. Do you want to do the excitement of cooking? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Leave that guy right there. Uh, yo, guys. 
<laughs> Feel confident when cooking HelloFresh with the simple recipes outlined in pictures, step-by-step -step instruction cards. It's wonderful. That's what I do when yeah, I Yeah, you get it. the cards and then you just read it. You just literally follow beautiful. directions and stuff. It's like beautiful so you can like set up all your stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> the way the pictures We show. still have the HelloFresh cards on my refrigerator. Oh, really? Yeah, because we make the turkey burgers oh, all the time. Uh, me too. Aren't they great? Oh like God, luau the pork burgers. Anyway, oh, okay, yeah. so try things you never... Guys, I'm so quiet. <laughs> Oh, 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 buttons. We're having uh, technical, technical issues. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh uh, Hello, Fresh. Hold we on. still love you. Oh, no. Crash. Are we rolling still? It crashed? Yeah. Did I do that? Are oh, we this rolling? is still recording. So, this is going to be a YouTube uh, exclusive. A YouTube exclusive! Content. Wait, uh, are we still rolling? <gasps> oh, the whole thing is gone. The whole no! Are you serious? No! I did Well, we have no, this. No, we have this. this. bad audio, though. What does that mean? All right, everyone remember where we started from. Let's do it again. All right, we're gonna start with Harry Potter and All right, Scottish so Harry Day. Potter. <laughs> oh no! The whole thing is gone.